John, as stats to the season go, that was a fairly comprehensive Bradford Bulls performance. Yeah, it's, we're building to it. I mean, you know, we said all along that the idea of trial games are to improve in areas each time. And we kept saying we were ticking off performance indicators. And I think it showed today that when it, it was an outcome based, you know, judgment, that uh, the players have come really good. And I, I was delighted with many aspects of the play. But there's still some areas that we've got to improve upon. But, you know, for the first competitive game of the season, you've got to be happy with that. What are the main positives to take from today? I thought defensively we were good for the majority of the time, uh, although we conceded a couple of soft tries. Uh, I thought we looked if we could play some really good football. But the big thing for me was our effort-based stuff was, was top class as well. You know, you could judge the kick chase and all, all little things like that that... Uh, you know, they aren't, uh, aren't trendy, but you've got to do, you've got to do the muck and nettles to be a good team and, and I was heartened to see that we were doing that. How important was that strong start, two tries to Maddie Dawson-Jones, you're, the, the, you're beating the clock after 10 minutes? Yeah, well, I didn't realise we were beating the clock, but obviously, you know, we, we emphasise that we start strong. That's one of our, uh, our sort of sayings for the, this season, but we start, you've not only to start strong, you've to stay strong. And I, I thought we did that, and that was a, the, the pleasing thing. You mentioned the defence, John. There was another period late in that first half where I think it was six or seven consecutive sets. You then yeah. keep Dewsbury out. It's 18-6, and you then go up the other end and score a huge 12-point swing. That, that, I agree with you totally, Mick. I mean, that was, that, in all honesty, that's the most heartening thing of all the game for me because, uh, you know, six sets is a lot to defend, and a lot of it was our, you know, we gave two penalties and won six again in that six sets, so we weren't very clever in in that manner but the fact is they showed resilience and resolve to to, to, to almost keep George Brown. I know Ross Peltier you know he crashed over at the end but they they they'd invested so much in that try that you know our lads just came back and Moyes and Mustafa made a lovely break and there's some great support play and Elliot Keir ended up scoring so th that if there's one period of the game that's given me the most heart that that's the one. We know it's a, a small playing surface here John but some of those tries this afternoon were really eye-catching exciting is that what you're expecting of the Bulls going on into the season now? Yeah, yeah it's, it's doing the basics well isn't it the skill set was good the skill execution was good and and I, I thought as you as you rightly point out there's some really good tries but there were some tries down to hard work such as the, the one at the end where we we can which goes back to the kick chase we contested that kick we made it uncomfortable for the Jewsbury defender and he, he coughed the ball up and we came up with the six points so you know th there's lots and lots of plus things but as I say Mick we've got to be better as well because we need to do this on a, on a consistent basis. Muzzy's Mustafa left the field uh, in the second half is yeah. everything okay? Yeah he's got a, a, a knee injury but uh, I mean the good thing about having full time lads on loan is that straight away he'll go back to Leeds, he'll have it assessed tomorrow and he'll have, it, he'll have the best medical treatment that there is in a full time environment so you know hopefully he'll be okay for next week and uh, you know again it steps forward. Ben Evans obviously isolating due to Covid-19 you had a, a good look at Tom Doyle at, at 13 this afternoon. He was good wasn't he? Yeah he was very good yeah I mean and you know it's so pleasing that in, in today, you've got to be able to play a number of positions. Corey Johnson can do it. He ended up at 13 as well. But I thought Doyley, as an out and out 13, was outstanding today. And, but it was one of a number of very, very good performances. But uh, it, it certainly given me uh, some some thinking. You know, let's get me thinking cap on and, and review that performance because it, it, I thought it was very good. When we spoke in the week, John, you talk about you know you want to start the season with a bang with a consistent performance and obviously you already highlighted about about the pre-season now you know moving on John you know it's exciting times it is exciting times but we still haven't nailed 80 minutes mate we still had a, a couple of 10 minute periods where uh, I didn't think we were at our smartest so uh, we need to have a look at that identify the reasons and, and attempt to pick up on that just one final one from me John the players that didn't play Sam Scott uh, were, were they just not selected or were they carrying knocks no Sam uh, he, he, he picked up a hamstring injury in, uh, in in the sort of team run at the very end so uh, so and, and you know Beefy came in and he, he did a great job and uh, I mean I, obviously I was really pleased with the other back rower as well young AJ Wallace you know he, he's had a decent uh, competitive debut hasn't he for Bradford. I was going to ask you about AJ he, look, he looks a real steal. Yeah he is yeah that, you know it, it just shows the the, the number of good youngsters that Leeds have got when you know AJ was one I was told that there was no room for him because of what was in front of him and I understand that because they've got people like Gannon and uh, you know and, and Reese Martin and so on but uh, 
it can play as I think he demonstrated today so I'm, I'm really pleased for him and I'm pleased what he's contributed to the team as well. So you're a young hungry player and, and sometimes players like that when they perhaps not yeah. be able to make it they've got that point to prove. When they, they get a chance then they, they seize that chance and, and he's had a 10 out of 10 pre-season and I think he had a a 7 8 out of 10 performance today, so uh, it can feel very happy with what he's done. And you say, in terms of the performance generally, I mean, obviously, not you know, there's obviously areas that you can we work on, presumably, as you get into that rhythm again. Isn't yeah, it? it's, it's yeah. it. I mean, you, you can't expect in round one to have a complete performance, and, and we didn't get a complete performance, but we had a very good one. And the nice thing is that when it isn't complete, you, it's easy to identify the areas that you need to pick up on, and it gives us something to do in the week, doesn't it? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it, we, we can get better, but. At the minute, uh, there's times in sport that you've got to enjoy the moment and, and we'll enjoy this moment.